women went to him for massages or job interviews and say what he did to them left them scarred. Now, I shared Tarek's videotape interview from the field shoot with a team of world-class body language and human behavior experts who have made some revealing observations. These gentlemen are the best of the best. Any comments? Yeah, Tarek, I, I've watched your video. I've been doing this a long time. Your indicators of deception are all over you. Look at that eyebrow you got that you keep trying to push down. It's a good indicator. I see indicators of disgust from you, disdain, and contempt. And I see those around when you talk about women, when you talk specifically about ethics. Venturi clearly was not expecting this today. I deny the worst allegations that I've received against me. I've, uh, I think two or even three clients have specifically accused me of putting my bare genitals on them. And that's just not true. It's just plain and simple. The, those are the worst ones. One of the ones that weren't so bad. What happened when the SWAT team showed up? Is there any reason that evidence would have surfaced showing some of these things might have happened, maybe from a cell phone or other? And, and before you answer, you asked for help from Dr. Phil, and you're here for that. And if you made a mistake, that's okay. And that's something he can work with. I don't want to call someone a liar who's making an honest Eric. mistake. Tarek, one what? question for you. Mistake. I just heard you say your clients who reported you, but you said in the video that your friends or people you met on a dating app mm -hmm. or some other thing had reported you. How many of those reported you? Well, according to the news reports, which I haven't verified, but according to the reports, he Here said we go. 17. Let's negotiate the answer. What do you feel about women? Answer that for me. I like women. They should be respected. So when we saw original video of you talking about this, we saw anger from you. This is something that women, though, across the mid-state have been waiting for for many years. Sometimes my Asperger's causes me to kind of misjudge boundaries. I might ask a question that you can get away with with a friend or somebody you've known for a while. A new massage client, you, you have to be careful. Who told you that you were autistic? I was diagnosed. I was diagnosed when I was 16 in February 2004. It was in high school. It was a high school diagnosis when I first found See, out. I don't think that's true either. But you don't think I was diagnosed in high school? I don't believe you were. You don't, you don't have any of the, the earmarks or hallmarks of, an, of someone with Asperger's at all. Not even a little bit. Tarek Menturi wasn't handcuffed. Every time I listen to you, all I hear is deception, deception, deception. I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm not I trying to say one semantics. thing that concerned us as a group, as a group, we, Dr. Phil's staff sent us an hour long, hour and a half long video to look through. The only time all four of us saw uh, natural, truthful behavior and enjoyment was when you were discussing revenge or vengeance and how you had gotten back on, at another person. Do you think that these women, three of them, if one of them said that your chin or your whatever it was that you placed on their body, they thought was your genitalia, why did it happen a second or third time? Do you, do you see any red flags here? This former massage therapist is charged with rape, sexual battery, and kidnapping. Today's arrest follows an 11-month investigation by our chief investigative reporter, Jeremy Finley. Just moments after the SWAT team arrived in force, Tarek Menturi was in handcuffs, charged with 17 counts, including rape and sexual battery. Do you have anything you want to say? Do you have any shoes? Do I have any shoes? 